All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Sit Down News. Before I begin, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Ratchet Clothing. Ratchet is a clothing company out of the UK. They have clothing for men, women, and children. I'll put a link down below, check them out. So tonight I'm gonna to be talking about Peter Luger Steakhouse. There was a night we were there with Joey Molino, and I'll get into it right now. To begin with, Joey Molino, Joe Perna, which was a member of Lucchese's, and myself, could not get a table at Peter Luger's. We did everything, we just couldn't do it. We all tried to make calls, we couldn't get a table. Ultimately, we wind up getting a table that night because Joey Molino got in touch with Lenny Di Maria, which is a Gambino Capital Regine, and Lenny was able to get us the table. So on the night that we went, it was Joey Molino, Joey Molino's childhood friend and associate, Ray Wags, Ray's wife, Joe Perna, his wife, someone I was dating, and myself. So that was the table. So after we sat down and we started ordering, throughout the night, I realized that the waiter kept coming over and bringing me more and more beer. And at one point, after about four or five of them that he brought to the table, I turned around and said to Joey, Joey Molina was sitting to the left of me. I said, why is this waiter, every time I turn around, he's got another beer coming to the table. He says, oh, that was me. When I order one, I order you one. And let me just tell you that for a small, skinny little guy, he'll drink anybody under the table. The guy could drink. He was ordering beer after beer after beer, and as he was ordering, he was ordering for myself as well. So the funny thing of the night happened when we ordered our steak, and with, because there were so many people, we were ordering steak for two and a bunch of steaks. So he said to me, how do you like your steak? Do you like it medium? Because I don't like it when it's rare. I don't want to see blood. I said, yeah, I'll eat a medium. We'll order ours together. So when the waiter came to us, we said, give us a steak for two. We want to order it medium. And he turned around and told the waiter, I don't want to see no blood on the plate. So the waiter turns around and tells him, there's no blood on the plate at Peter Lugan's. Okay. A little while later comes by, the steaks come. The waiter comes and brings us. He looks at it. And I mean, there wasn't a lot of blood, but there was a little bit of blood. And he turns around and he says, where's this waiter? So he gets the waiter's attention, he calls the waiter over. He says, let me ask you a question. What is that, paint? <laughs> so, so the waiter's looking, so the waiter said, and if anybody has been at Peter Luger's, you know this to be true. The waiter said, look, you could just, the plate is so hot, you could put the pieces on the side of the plate and it'll continue cooking. And that's what we did. So, but I just found that funny. So at the end of the night, when we're done eating dinner and we're getting ready to have dessert, we order espresso. So Joey Molino turns around and tells the waiter, bring us Marie Brassad. And we all drank that with our coffee. It's Anazette. So the waiter, the same waiter with the, with the blood on the plate, turns around and tells Joey, he says, well, I'll bring a big glass of it. So he says, no, bring the bottle. So the waiter turns around and says, no, no, a big glass is going to be plenty for the table. So he gets mad and he tells the waiter, he says, listen, I'm not going to tell you again. Bring the fucking bottle. So I'm laughing. So I, I'm watching the waiter now, right? So the waiter walks away from the table and goes over to the maitre d'. Now, don't forget, it's the maitre d' who Lenny Di Maria must have called to get us the table. So when the waiter goes over to the maitre d', the maitre d' must have told him whatever he told him. When the waiter comes back to the table and he starts pouring the first Marie Prasad, his hand is shaking. <laughs> and we told him, put the bottle down, we'll pour it. And he went away. And, and anyway, so that's the end of the story. I know it was another short one, but it was a funny one. I remembered that night clearly in my head. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the night. Till the next time, ciao for now.